All right, so let me explain this, right? Um, some dudes, they say, okay, the reason why this game is, is formatted this way to where, you know, it's scripted and coded and you have a lot of predetermined situations that happen. They say that, you know, they're doing it for money purposes. They want you to buy VC and all like that. Understand something. That is not why they're doing that. It's not it's not necessary, you know what I'm saying, to, to do it for that reason. Because if I'm playing my league, most of these videos are my league, my GM, my league. I don't need VC for that. See what I'm saying? I don't need VC for that. I get VC just playing. So when when they're doing what they're doing, when they're scripting and coding this game to cheat the way that it does, it's not even so much that they're cheating that like it is but that's not really the the entirety of the point and it's not for money the reason why they're doing what they're doing is because this is a game basketball is a is probably one of the more complex sports or, or let me say more diverse and, and intricate sports right so there's a lot of moving components in the, in a game like this so what they what their issue is is either they are too lazy to program the algorithm in the uh, or let me say program the ai computer in your ai in such a way where the, uh, the animations and the style of play and iq and challenge is realistic and more uh, fleshed out or either either they're too lazy or they have not figured it out how to do that yet so what they've done to, uh, to basically compensate for where the computer is lacking in the AI is they've resorted to a lot of um, scripted moments, a, a scripted environment, predetermined scenarios, scripted outcomes throughout the flow of the game, right? So you have a lot of situations in this game where things are happening because the algorithm is triggering it to happen. Things are not happening because the algorithm is triggering it is trying to manage your ability to play and dominate right because if it doesn't based upon their lack in programming the ai you could legit just be computed by 100 points literally every time i'll be computed by 100 points many times and it's usually in the games where the algorithm is not so heavily involved like it's always involved a lot but it has to be heavily involved to prevent a, a good or great player from blowing computer out consistently. I blow them out consistently anyways. And there are certain games where I come close to losing. And those are typically the games where it's so it's so much more clear. Anybody, even somebody that doesn't play this game, can sit there and watch it. And they can see that it's obviously cheating you. Right? So they're, they're trying to give you the feeling of a challenge. They're trying to make you feel like you're playing a, a, a game that is not so easy to just dominate, right? And they're also relying on certain gimmicks and what their ideas are of how basketball works rather than, and you know, that's another thing. They're projecting their ideas on, uh, of basketball onto you. These games are programmed by dudes who are not really playing ball or, you know, didn't grow up playing ball maybe like we did. I played, I won tournaments. I played ball my whole life. So when I'm seeing certain things, it's like, what the fuck was that, right? But this is coming from someone making this and they're projecting what their mentality towards basketball is, what they think or how they think things will play out. That's why you see a lot of animations in this game that you don't really see in basketball happen that often because is someone doing it? And I'm not talking, you know, they probably played a little ball, I'm not, but I'm not talking about just shooting around with your little dumbass nephew or, your, you know, your your homeboys that can't hoop, like actually playing ball. They have not really done that like that. So when they're, they're, they're trying to come up with their idea of how things go, right? But let's look at this right here. Look at this right here. This is exactly what I mean. And, it, and, they're, and they have learned to do it in a way that's very nuanced. It's not so obvious that, that, you know, you're being cheated. It's just certain moments where it's obvious. But for the most part, it's engrafted into the game in a way where you have to have an eye to see this shit. 
right? You have to be able, you have to be meticulous and petty enough, because I'm petty as hell. You have to be petty enough to see this stuff, right? You have to be meticulous and you have to also be intelligent enough to pick up on exactly what they're doing to you and what they're trying to accomplish, right? So let's look at this right here. I got a charge right here. Now you see what just occurred, right? This is a scripted charge. How is that the case? Most people would not see it. It just looked like you ran into the guy. But I was trying to run in a straight path. The game forced me to redirect and curve into the guy just in a, in a, in a split moment enough to get the charge in a way where it's not obvious that I'm being controlled, right? So now right here, right here, check it out. Now I want to take this, this path right here. Now I'm going for it. Now watch what happens. Boom. You can see the moment where my man is, is moving straight and he turns into the defender. I'm being forced into turning into the defense. Right? Now this could have just been a turnover. They could have did anything with this. It could have been a turnover, but, but the algorithm decided to trigger a charge file. They could have made this a blocking file. Right? All throughout the game, you are hacking computer and they're hacking you all the time. The algorithm determines when they're going to, to call the file, right? You're, you're constantly getting hacked and you're constantly hacking, right? You're constantly going through arms and limbs going through people. It's happening all the time. They're just selective on when they're going to call it and what they're going to call. So let's look at it closely again. Look at this. You can see the moment where my man turns to him. Boom, right there. I was forced to redirect and run into the defense so I could get the charge. The algorithm decided you were gonna get a charge right here. Boom, make it happen. And it triggered it, right? It's not just based upon your ability to play, it's what the algorithm wants and your ability to overcome the algorithm with your play. So you're, you're not playing against computers, team, and individual players. You're playing against the algorithm's omnipresent control over everything that's going on. And you have the illusion of just playing ball. But that's about it. That'll do it for this video. Peace.